गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास सेवेंथ आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन द इंग्लिश क्लास सेशन फाइव ऑफ द चैप्टर चैप्टर नंबर सेवन चांदनी फ्रॉम अवर सप्लीमेंट्री बुक एंड एलियन हैंड टूडे वी विल स्टार्ट विथ पार्ट थ्री एंड बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस पार्ट जस्ट रिकैप्चुलेट वट वी हैव स्टडेड सो फार Once an old man Abu Khan lived in Almora he was alone his only companions were few goats which he always kept as pets he gave them funny uh, names he took them out for grazing in daytime he talked to them as one talks to one's own children at night he put a string round the neck of each goat but poor Abu Khan was unlucky one by one his goats broke the string freed themselves and disappeared in the hills they loved their freedom so whenever they got the chance they would run away only to be killed by an old wolf who lived in the hills abu was sad and puzzled uh, he wondered why his goats in spite of all the good food and affection ran straight into the jaws of death freedom for them meant struggle hardships and even death when all the goats had left abu uh, he decided not to keep any goat as pet any more but he felt very lonely so he brought a young goat he hoped that it would begin to love him and never want to go to the hills the new goat was white as snow and was very friendly abu called her chandni he would narrate to her stories of all his friends several years passed chandni was still with abu abu believed that chandni would never leave him but her plan was something else she watched the hill tops which appeared so charming she hated the rope that would not let her go she stopped eating the green grass she refused to listen to abu's stories she lost her appetite she only looked at the hills madly one day she opened her heart to him she said she would die if she was not allowed to go to the hills abu warned her of the risk the dangerous wolf would eat her up but she was really to face and fight the wolf Abu got very angry he pushed her into a small hut and shut the door but the same night chandni made her escape through the small window in that hut so up to this we have uh, covered part 1 and 2 this is the short summary of these two parts let's begin with the part 3 chandni reached the hills it seemed to her that the old hills were standing in a row to welcome her when chandni reached uh, the hills the hills seem to uh, like that all the hills are welcoming chandni so that just to welcome the chandni they are standing in the row she felt like a child meeting her parents after years of separation and when she reached the hills uh, she uh, just felt that uh, felt as a parting child of uh, a parent जैसे कोई बच्चा बहुत देर बाद अपने पेरेंट्स से मिलता है बहुत सालों बाद अपने पेरेंट्स से मिलता है तो कितना खुश होता है जो सिचुएशन जैस तब होती है वही सिचुएशन चांदनी की थी जब वो व्हेन शी रीच द हिल्स व्हेन एवर शी वेंट सॉरी वेयर एवर शी वेंट द टॉल ग्रास रोज टू इम्ब्रेज हर इम्ब्रेज हर मीन्स होल्ड क्लोजली इन वंस आर्म ओके so uh, she felt that all the tall grass are standing just to embrace her you say that na gale lagana the flowers bloomed uh, bloom means uh, produce flowers khile hue phool to amuse her amuse her means to make someone happy to um, amuse her and the wind sang an endless song of welcome and uh, wind seems to be singing song how different all this was from her past in the prison house of abu khan's compound and she was comparing her life in the hut of abu khan and in an open field in an op- uh, on the open hills she said how different the life is it was the happiest day in chandni's life the day she reached the on the hills she uh, thought that this is the happiest day of her life that day she played uh, for hours on the grassy slopes slopes means end rising 
of the hills she met a herd of wild goats herd mean group of wild goats who asked her to join their group but chandani politely refused she wanted to enjoy enjoy her new freedom all by herself when she was roaming uh, on the hills a herd of wild goats uh, uh, accidentally met uh, chandani and uh, that uh, group of uh, wild goats invited her to join their group but chandani pul- uh, refused them politely and she said no she wanted to enjoy her freedom all by herself wo apne aap hi apni freedom enjoy karna chahti hai the sun disappeared disappeared means set out of sight chhup gaya tha behind the hills pahadon ke piche and soon darkness in envelop the grass envelop means covered the grass andhera ho gaya the flowers and the trees uh, the gra- grass flowers and trees are covered with darkness why they covered with darkness because the sun disappeared means sun set behind the hills the wind stopped blowing uh, earlier the wind was uh, blowing uh, so uh, sweetly uh, and cold breeze was blowing and that wind was singing also wind sang an endless song and here now the wind stopped blowing and there was stillness all around stillness means quietness ekdam chuppi cha gayi except for a strange sound which was coming from the bushes sirf ek ajeeb si awaaz aa rahi thi kahan se bushes ke piche se bushes matlab chhadiyon ke the sound was like a grunt grunt means growling gurana like that uh, what was it then uh, chandani just thought what was it kya ho sakta hai ye it was not abu khan's voice calling her back to the compound she was talking to herself uh, it is not the voice of abu khan ki jo usko bula rahe ho ki wapas aa ja mere compound mein nor was it the voice of another goat nahi ye kisi aur goat ki awaaz hai then chandani thought of the dangerous wolf who lived in the hills now suddenly she uh, uh, thought uh, strike in his mind that it must be the sound of voice of that dangerous wolf who lived in the hills she felt scared scared means afraid should she go back to the safety of abu khan's hut uh, she uh, questioned herself that uh, uh, she should uh, she, should she go back to the abu khan's hut no she then uh, herself ref- light no she said to herself death in an open field is far better than life in a small hut now chandani talked to herself that khule maidan mein marna zyada acha hai small hut mein jeena the wolf had come out of the bushes and was staring greedily at chandani now wolf come out of the bushes jhadiyon ke piche se bahar aa gaya just see here wolf is coming out of the bushes and staring staring means uh, looking uh, constantly greedily at chandani uh, greedily means kya kehte hain use lalach bhari aankhon se chandani ko dekhne laga his eyes were shining like burning coals in the darkness and the eyes of um, this wolf was shining like a burning coal jaise koila jalta hai to usme se uh, शाइन होती है ना वैसे उसकी आंखें चमक रही थी ही सीम्ड इन नो हरी उसे कोई जल्दी नहीं थी वुल्फ को ही न्यू द न्यू गोट वॉज हिस्ट बिकॉज ही न्यू दैट दिस न्यू गोट वॉज हिस्स ये उसी की है द वुल्फ एंड द गोट साइज अप ईच अदर नाउ दे बोथ साइज अप साइज अप मीन्स मयरिंग ईच अदर असेस्ड ईच अदर द वुल्फ वॉज बिग एंड फिरोशियस ferocious means dangerous the wolf was big and ferocious whereas the goat though healthy was small and the goat was healthy no doubt the goat was healthy uh, but uh, small as compared to wolf go- goat was small but small is not weak but small doesn't mean that it is weak chhota hone ka matlab ye nahi hota ki wo kamzor hai chandani stood firm on her legs stood firm means strongly she uh, standing on his legs head slightly bent thoda sa usne apna sir jhukaya hua tha and horns jutting out jutting out means uh, spread forward phale hue the aage ko 
she was a picture of courage and the image of this chandani is the image of courage she looked like a brave soldier ready to fight a treacherous enemy treacherous means uh, deceitous dokhebaaz jise aap keh sakte ho ki wo is dokhebaaz wolf ke sath ladne ke liye ek sainik ki tarah taiyar thi i must put up a good fight chandani thought success or failure is a matter of luck or chance chandini uh, talk to herself that i must put up good fight mujhe ek achhi ladai ladni hai haar aur jeet to kismat ki baat hoti hai the fight began now the fight began it went on through the night went on through the night means the whole night the fight goes on the moon which had been watching the fight began to grow pale and suddenly hid behind the clouds now that was the night so the moon was there and uh, as a uh, whole night have went gone and they both were uh, busy in fighting so uh, moon now grow pale pale means dim suddenly hid behind the clouds and where he uh, hide himself the moon where he hide uh, himself he hide behind the clouds jo uh, चांद था वो बादलों के पीछे छुप गया द स्टार्स ऑल्सो बिगेन टू डिस तारे थे वो भी एक के बाद एक गायब हो गए अ फेंट लाइट अपियर इन द ईस्ट एंड द मॉर्निंग कॉल फॉर प्रेयर केम फ्रॉम डिस्टेंट मॉस्क ऑल दीज आर द साइंस ऑफ डॉन यू कैन से वेन सन इज अबाउट टू कम एंड ही सेट द राइट राइटर just tell us that the sun is appearing the first rays of the sun saw chandni lying on the ground and what we saw when the first ray appears that chandni was lying on the ground she was completely soaked in blood soaked means wet in blood the wolf tired and sleepy and the wolf was also looking very tired and sleepy was getting ready to devour her devour her means just he was just ready to eat up her an assembly of birds perched on top of a tree perched on top of a tree means uh, sat on top of a tree nearby was debating the result of the fight and uh, the all those birds were debating means discussing the result of the fight who is the winner one of them asked उन बर्ड में से एक बर्ड ने कहा किसे आप लोगों को क्या लगता है कि विनर कौन है द वुल्फ ऑफ कोर्स मोस्ट ऑफ देम सेट ज्यादातर बर्ड्स ने यही कहा हा हा वुल्फ और कौन अ वाइज ओल्ड बर्ड डिस्क्लेम्ड विद कॉन्फिडेंस बट एन ओल्ड वाइज बर्ड एक थोड़ी सी बड़ी समझदार बर्ड ने कहा इस बात को डिनाई किया डिक्लेम्ड दैट मीन्स डिनाई करना चांदनी इज द विनर Why Chandni is the winner of this fight? Because she fight very courageously, bravely, and whole night for uh, her freedom. Because Chandni said uh, that death in an open field is far better than life in a small hut. So how uh, meaningful a freedom is for Chandni? So that's all in this story. I hope you all have enjoyed the story. Please read this chapter once or twice to understand it better. Okay class thank you have a nice day